Adding fractions is pretty simple, especially when the denominators are the same. Remember, the denominator is the number on the bottom. It shows how many parts the fraction is divided into. So if I were adding 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, 4 is the denominator. And it's a common denominator because both fractions have a 4. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is equal to 2 fourths. Here's why. If I had a pizza and I divided that pizza into four equal pieces, and I ate one fourth, and you ate one fourth. Altogether, we would have eaten two fourths of the pizza. One fourth plus one fourth is equal to two fourths. And if we wanted to simplify that fraction, one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths, and two fourths is equal to one half. Together, we ate half of the pizza. Do you see how this is equal to one half? Pretty cool, huh? Fractions are really neat. Let's try another. One third plus two thirds. The denominators are the same. So again, we have common. Oops, let's try that again. Again, we have a common denominator of three. So we can just add the numerators. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 1 third plus 2 thirds is equal to 3 thirds. Here's why it works. This time, instead of using a circle, we'll use a rectangle. This rectangle is divided into thirds. One third plus two thirds is equal to three thirds. One, two, three thirds piece of cake, right? It works the same way when you subtract, as long as the denominators are the same. So if I had one-fifth plus, oh look at me, I'm adding again. Let's try a subtraction problem. Silly me. Let's try four-fifths minus one-fifth. I think I've got it now. Okay, the denominators are the same. So we can just subtract the numerators. Four minus one equals three. Four-fifths minus one-fifth is equal to three-fifths. Let's see why it works. Okay. Get our pieces as close to equal as they can possibly be because remember in a fraction it has to be divided into equal parts. That's what makes it a fraction. 
Now, if I had four fifths and I took away one fifth. I'd have three fifths left. Four fifths minus one fifth is equal to three fifths. I think you're ready to try some on your own. Grab a piece of scratch paper and see if you can do this one. Three sevenths plus one seventh. I'll give you a second to figure it out. You should have gotten four sevenths. Three sevenths plus one seventh is equal to four sevenths. Let's see if you can try a subtraction one now. Eight eighths. Ooh, eight eighths is equal to one whole. Minus three eighths. See if you can try this one on your own. Remember, the denominators are the same. All you have to do is subtract the numerators. I'll give you a second to work. Hopefully, you have five eighths written. Eight eighths minus three eighths is equal to five eighths. Keep practicing with adding and subtracting fractions. You're doing great.